Hey guys, this is Introducing Emmy, and we're back with another 100 Days of Making Comics, and we're still working on Chapter 6, page 194. I ported it back into Photoshop, as you can see by my tool layout and everything here. I don't normally uh, show my tool layout, but I thought you guys might like to see it, since we're going to be doing the flats, and maybe some like tepid background work and some other things. Um, the only thing that's really worth mentioning here is when I ported the line art back in and put my gutters on, um, I added an outline to Hugh for now, just so he's not super lost against this black background. And um, I did that by uh, using the magic wand tool to go in and carefully select Hugh. And uh, this is actually a, a white layer in, in my effects uh, how would I say this? So I usually have a text folder, an effects folder, and then just like the artwork underneath, which makes up the comic. And in my effects folder, I just put a little uh, white in there, and then I added the stroke effect by double clicking on that layer. And uh, that's just to keep you from totally getting lost, and in case I need to select him later or something like that. So there we go. This is going to be my lines layer, and this is going to be my flats. And I'm going to make this a slightly more obnoxious color for now so that I can see what's colored and what's not. I'm going to lock all these other layers for now. And then uh, it's just pretty much just me going in with a paint bucket tool um, on a duplicate of my line layer. And just paint bucketing in uh, the colors. Now the palette in the uh, upper right corner is uh, uh, the palette I use for pretty much everything related to Trine Human. It's got all my uh, it's got all my default character colors. I'm actually uh, going to make a few places black here so that I don't have to worry about them as much. Sometimes when I have like itty bitty little areas, I'll just go ahead, like see right here, I'll just make that black because it's going to be too hard to get in there and color it, and I'm not probably going to like the way it looks in the end. I also don't like how this line doesn't line up right there, so I'm just going to go in and fix some of this stuff. Now, because I am working on a duplicate of my line art layer, I will have to go back and kind of see, like, when I turn on my other line art layer, you can see that like trying to fix itself from the old version so I will have to go through and kind of like patch uh, areas that don't look right or what have you but that's actually kind of a minor just a minimal change so I might not really do anything with it um, let's go through here little piece of trivia my reptoids uh, even as humans used to have a more yellowish teeth color or or at least it was planned to be yellow, and then last minute I changed it. In fact, I think this is, yeah, this is what the teeth used to look like. And I thought it just, it looked really grungy and I didn't like it. <laughs> so I, uh, I never actually did it. Like every time I would be like, all right, here we go. And then I would never do it. I would just make them white. And to be fair, it was a lot easier that way. Um. So you might notice some slight differences from where I left off inking. I slept on the page and then when I came back I just made some minor fixes in the morning. Um, just little stuff. I think I like fixed one of Hugh's eyes or something. <laughs> or something, whatever. I wasn't paying attention that much. Oh, they're so cute. They're buddies. Let's do 
his mouth. I sometimes wish that I would have made Hughes, like, and all the other greys, their mouths uh, blue. Because their blood is blue. And it doesn't really make sense that he has a pink mouth. But I can't remember if I had a reason. I think it just looked kind of, I don't know, I didn't like it or something, obviously, because it never happened. Oh, Hugh. He's such a cute um potatoes. Very strong yellow. Strong yellow. 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 Yellow, yellow. And then I need to do silver buckles here. So once I'm done like inking and sketching, the, the process of the pages usually goes pretty smoothly. Um, I, I, this is like the kind of thing that I would like put a movie on and barely be paying attention to what I'm doing. Sometimes if I have to do like really complicated backgrounds, I mean that's its own sort of art form. These pages, a lot of the backgrounds are pretty much there. I just need to like up the saturation or... Um, just straighten up some things. So what I do for Kwasi's eyes to go a little quicker because he's got like a red, um, um, I don't know what you call it, it's uh, just some sort of like a veining around his eyes though. I keep it pretty simple. So what I do is I select all the yellow. Um, so all his other eyes are selected right now. And then uh, I inverse the selection and make the selection just a little bit bigger so you can see that it's now uh, the ants are crawling a little further away from the black of his iris. And then I re-inverse it, going with my red. Let me just make sure this is not selected good. Oops, wrong way. Sometimes I inverse stuff back and forth too much and I get a little confused. I'm actually going to hit Control h just to hide the selection for now so I can a little more freely. So here I'm actually gonna make them pretty wide. Yeah, it's not gonna let me because I have the way I have it selected. So I'm gonna go in and do it by hand here. I'm just going to, uh, I want his eyes to look really, I almost said the word chubby. I don't think that's right, but very like round and doll eyed here. Because he's supposed to be like, like, oh, here. Yeah, I think that looks good. Let's go out and make sure I didn't miss anything. That looks good. Okay, uh, I'm actually going to go back and change the color of my stroke outline. Oh, not there, not there. That's my text. <laughs> Wrong layer. I normally don't put effects on a file until I'm like nearing completion because I feel like they're kind of, you need to see the art near done to know what, you know, how you want it all to look. But, um, I'm going to duplicate my back, old background here and bring it up to the top and steal some backgrounds. Um, when it comes to, uh, to something like this where I'm trying to preserve my original line art there so I can remember what it looks like, I'm a little more um, liberal with the, uh, the effects and everything. So, or I should say the timing of the effects when I use them. So let's see, let's take our first background. The way that I sort of chop shop together my old backgrounds is that I, uh, 
I leave that orange layer. So this is partially why I'm showing my layers this time. I leave that orange layer and I duplicated the original background layer and brought it out of the old file up into the new file. And uh, I just select an area that I'm like, okay, yeah, I want to save this. Like I want to preserve this part of the art. I select it and I think you right click and say layer via cut. And I just cut it out of there and put it on its own new layer. I'm just going to delete it behind there. Now, the new backgrounds are much, much more saturated. They're bluer. They're beautiful. I love them. So I'm real quick going to go back and just make sure that I'm in the ballpark of coloring. Uh, I'm also probably going to put a fade on Kwaski to kind of push him back a little more because he's pretty he's pr like how would I say this he's the same tonal quality the same saturation level as Hugh here and he's supposed to be like in the foreground you can see here what I did was I made Kwaski darker because he's closer but in this case I want to leave Hugh normal not like any darker and then i'll make Kwaski lighter and try to push him back a little bit because you're supposed to be getting all like ramped up and excited for hugh's big human reveal which we've all seen believe it or not i still have people who are discovering the comics so it's for them it's, it'll be their first time going through will be more exciting than maybe having read it already and knowing what's up <laughs> So now I'm just going to go in here, oops, and I'm going to take a blue, I'm going to take a blue, that doesn't make any sense, that's okay. Oh, you know what, I'm going to put it back here, so he's like kind of glowing almost not quite just just to give him a little pop and I want a little more of like a texture on there I sort of got rid of it I had a cloud brush <clears throat> a cloud brush that I used to use not a cloud brush not like car capture Sakura here um, let's do this is one of my favorite brushes for adding texture. This one came out of an old brush set that Thunder Cakes on um, DeviantArt made. I don't know if the brush is still available or the brush set. I just, yeah, the brush set I should say, just to have a little greeniness. And then you know what? I'm going to go in with my cloud brush, but as an eraser and kind of there. Just a little something something. Okay, and then what was the original behind Klosky? Oh, what? he's like leaning against a wall there. That doesn't make any sense. There's nothing for him to lean against. Alrighty. <laughs> So this will just be, in fact, I'm just going to steal it from here. This is mine. I painted this. I'm taking it, taking it back. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. brighter and a little more saturated and again 
pretty much just going to steal this background and reuse it. I think I'm going to paint over it some. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, my poor doggie is groaning. And whenever I'm on the mic, she always goes and me. Because I'm talking and she's trying to take a nap. Ooh. And it's so hard. It's so hard not to take nap. -oos. Quick, I'm going to recrop this, get rid of some of the excess that's sitting beyond the boundaries of canvas. And right here, these are the only two that I actually had sketches for that I redid. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. Um, I have some like grid work on here to just keep things looking nice and everything. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go... I'm going to desaturate, go lighter, and okay, so the first background I want to do is this one. I should uh, also say this is a duplicate of my sketch layer. I am not the kind of person who will just start chopping apart my sketches like the original that I worked from just to make a background or what have you, so that is still preserved and nice and lovely and dandy. off. And I'm going to duplicate it again just so I know what I'm working with. Let's go blue. Actually, no, let's not go blue. Let's go um this grayish color. Okay, there we go. That's better. What was the this way up here so I can look at it. Oh, there wasn't. Okay. There's pretty much like not really anything left I can get from the old backgrounds. That's okay. Uh, let's see here. do like this. Um, I don't really have like a rhyme or reason to the way that I work on my backgrounds. Um, I just kind of try to take them one panel at a time. I try to keep things simple unless I'm doing an establishing shot. Um, as far as trying human is concerned, I'm more worried about how the characters emote and express to, towards each other, which I'm only now feeling like I'm kind of getting somewhere with that. <laughs> um, and backgrounds are kind of, they take like a second, take second fiddle, is that the word I'm looking for, or the phrase I'm looking for? Yes, take second fiddle. I just want to see in the 
five or six little sketch noise down here. I'm just going to mirror that. And then I just like to blur this a teeny tiny bit. Not that much. And that is a plane going by. I don't know if you can hear it. I'm always worried you guys can hear the trains that go by my house. They usually only go by, like, the, the loud ones only really go by very early in the morning, like at 1 and 2 in the morning, sometimes they, like, shake my computer and stuff. It's funny, um, Dave, I guess, he just doesn't spend enough time in my office or something, but he was sitting in here doing some work one night, and he could feel the trains going by, and he was like, jeez, and I was like, yeah, I know, the trains, craziness. Okay, and then this is the last background. I'm actually not going to merge this background with the rest of them for now because I might I might put a little gradient on here. In fact, let me show you what I mean. I think I'm going to do a gradient overlay. Multiply. Just something to make you pop a little more right here. And let me put a blue in the middle here so it's not going like straight into black. That's pretty nice. Okay, so I'm going to leave that as it is now while I fiddle around with this background. Yes, okay. And again, and duplicate the layer that I just uh, create, or the little sketch area that I just selected, and then I'm going to fill this with... Well, actually, let me see if I have a nice big image of this plane. Yeah, I don't. Okay, well then I'm just going to steal it off of this one for now. So what I want is this area. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna put it in here. This is the very quick and dirty method of trying human backgrounds. It's like part of the, okay, that's part of the original drawing. Alright. So something like that.
I'm just going to run it through the paint daub filter and then I'm going to go in and select these like little former stars and I'm going to go to my fill tool and say content aware fill to get rid of those. There's a few that it <clears throat> couldn't do on its own, so I'll just paint over them. Let's see, I'm going to take a smudge tool and just kind of clean this up a little. There we go. And then I'm going to take this back to normal. And get rid of everything but hue over here. Uh, let's do a white and I think it's blue. That's a good blue right there. Then we're going to go to filter, filter gallery. And da, 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 da. I'm going to do a stamp. What I'm trying to do is get sketch but kind of smooth it off so it's just like a hint of hue over there but I don't really like the way the stamp tool is doing it. Let's see what I can get with Let's try poster edges. I always kind of like when I'm trying to get a sketch and just keep it to use in the final art. I'm never really... Let's try stamp. Or er, photocopy, excuse me. Oh, that's okay. That's interesting. His sketch, this hand stayed, but the rest didn't. Oh, you know what? It's because I think this sketch of the hand was done in black and this was done in like a lighter gray. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's going to be covered up anyway. But I just thought that was interesting. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised I'm not getting what I want here with the stamp tool. That's usually the one that does it for me. Let me try something here. Let me just change that to black. Ah, sorry for the kerfuffling around with filters. I like that. That'll do. Okay. And then what I'm going to do here
just I'm going to go in and color this really simplified reflection line art. I'm not going to be too overly beautiful about it because it's going to get filtered out the wing wing <laughs> pretty much. Forgot I had a kind of crazy brush there. Uh, this is going a little over 30 minutes, but I'm going to let it go. I'd rather leave to get this less background finished on camera without having to like make a whole new video. So be patient with me while I just finish this up a little bit while people talk outside my window while I'm recording. Bad people outside my window. Bad. Now, just to make this super authentic, I'm going to throw some very casual shading on here. But I'm not going to go too wild with it. Dogs are grumbling. That's a grumble hound. we go. Okay, that's all I wanted to do. And then I'm going to just bring everything back on so I can see. And I'm going to go over them. I mean screen. Yeah, that's better. I'm going to filter. Okay, so I can already see what the issue is going to be. I'm going to have to do this like slightly layered here. I'm gonna have to like have one part of the body at one level and then the other at one level of blur and then the other at a different
and I'm just gonna put some probably gonna redraw some of that in there I don't know I'm not like really feeling that for some reason but I think what I'll do is I'll A little better okay but now I need to add the stars I'm gonna go down to get my handy dandy star brush and then that will pretty much be it for the backgrounds uh, I don't know if I'm gonna shade on camera it's just kind of boring and tedious in my opinion um, I don't know we'll see it might be like a speed like I'll do it but I'll speed it up. To save some of the the boringness, the time sinkiness of it. And then also I can like watch movies and stuff. <laughs> and I don't have to talk through it because it'll be like, yep, shading Kwaski's upper lip. Just because it's bothering me, I'm going to just kind of adjust like one little. Let's do something like that. Okay, so I'm going to say yep on all of this. And I'm going to go ahead and... Just for my own curiosity. I think I like that a little better. I'm not sure. Eh, maybe I don't. Whatever. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and call it for this one now that the background's all done and everything. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Bye!